The 2022 Michigan gubernatorial debate is the first in Michigan's history to be all female. The incumbent Governor Wimmer and her opponent Tudor Dixon show their differences from the very start. When we stay focused on what really matters, it's a lot easier to see we all want the same things. Great schools, good jobs, safe roads and communities. The last four years have been disappointing at best. Everything is more expensive, our community, communities are less safe, our job creators struggle to create jobs, and many are saying they think the American dream in the state of Michigan is dead. Throughout the debate, the two candidates went for many hard topics. Tudor Dixon posted on her social media a picture of her shooting a gun with the caption that said, gun control means using both hands. She is too dangerous and too out of touch to be trusted with protecting our kids. She'll put the Second Amendment before second graders every time. She wants to make sure your kids are in a sitting duck zone where there can be no guns and there's no protection against them. The idea that she thinks that any having any type of weapon is too dangerous for the state of Michigan, she'll take all of your guns away. And after the debate, Hot topics such as the environment and parental control in schools came up. Well, we've already made Michigan a leader when it comes to green energy jobs, to making our policies from exec using executive authority to do so. I want to codify those. I want to make sure they transcend any individual in, um, administration. We need to continue to build out our energy alternatives. If you look today, actually, there's quite a bit of news that there are folks in Dearborn who feel as though there's some questionable sexual material in their schools. We've also seen the Department of Ed come out and say that they want to start talking to kids about pronouns and gender and name changes. We have learned so much about these candidates during this debate, but there is still three and a half weeks to go. So there's so much that can still happen. Cooper Austin, DTV News.